Hello everyone, welcome back to our playthrough of the Gigapet Jurassic Park Baby T-Rex, and the plot thickens with this little guy. I was reached out to by someone on Twitter, and they said that this is considered uh, an equivalent to a nano version of the Gigapet Baby T-Rex, whereas the other versions might constitute more of a, a full version. Where does it say this? Does it... I mean, I don't have the package anymore, so maybe that's, maybe that's entirely fair. But apparently this one is just known to be difficult, so that's what I signed up for. That's what I... that's the one that I got, I guess, is, is the hard... the hard mode baby. Um, their stats are good, because I have finally gotten into the rhythm of this little guy. The rhythm is typically just constantly check them all the time. I had gotten sp spoilt, I guess, used to the Digimon frequency of care, which was, you know, check, on, check in on them at, like, maximum every two hours, right? Like, there's not really much that you're gonna miss. You can pretty much take perfect care of them if you check on them every couple hours. This guy, no. It, it, I still maintain that it's about 15 minutes, and it's been kind of difficult, because guess what happened? I got rear-ended by a dump truck. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as it could have been, but luckily in the state of Oregon, they require liability insurance to cover health costs up to $15,000 related to an accident. So instead of being like, I have no insurance, I guess I'll just suffer. I've been going to this cool little like wellness clinic and it's been, <laughs> I've never had like a physical therapy appointment before, but it's, it's the whole, it's the whole shebang. It's been really neat. But yeah, back to the accident. I was trying to cross a railroad track, right? And this dump truck was behind me. We were stopping and going, stopping and going. And then the guy behind me just didn't stop. And then I was like, oh, here it comes. And my car is still running, which is also a blessing. I guess I'll just chalk it up to the fact that my car is from 1998. And what did they, what did they say about cars back then? They just made them out of sturdier stuff or something. Uh, from what I understand, that comes at the cost of the driver, though. Supposedly, cars are made to kind of collapse at certain points nowadays to minimize the impact that the actual driver feels. So I guess it's kind of a give and take on that situation. But my car's okay, and I'm okay, so don't worry about me too much. I was mostly worried about this guy, because this guy dies at the drop of a hat, you know? And when I, when I saw it coming, I, I looked down at Baby Dino, and I was like, well, this could be the end for you, and possibly me, but no, it was okay. It was a little weird trying to take care of this guy during a physical therapy appointment, having a bunch of muscly men look at me weird and kind of side-eye me while I'm holding this little red thing going dee 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 while I'm in the middle of laser therapy. It's, um, it's a new experience, but at least Baby T-Rex is getting to experience new things as well, so, you know, good, good for them. Uh, they're officially three years old right now. Uh, like I said before, they don't change year on the start of a new day like other digital pets. This guy actually waits until 24 hours past the day they were born, and then they do a little birthday song, and then they, they, they year up, they year up. They're still, as you can see, their goobery self. For better or for worse, this is just what they are, and I guess it's just what they're gonna be until supposedly at least day five, and then day seven, I think they change again. Oh, look. Oh, look, someone needs something. What do you think Pepperoni needs, guys? What do you, th what do you think they need? See, I always just check the, the hygiene thing just in case. Just in case. Uh, another funny thing that I've identified about this device, and it's something that I guess it's advice that I would pass along to any of you out there that wants to try running the Gigapets Jurassic Park Baby T-Rex bad version, is that sometimes they'll make a call care and you won't know what it is. You'll check everything. You'll feed them pepperoni. And, you know, if you get too caught up in the moment, you can accidentally feed them like, like six pepperonis before finally they'll get sick. And I know exactly when it's coming now. I've I've been trained in the art of difficult dinos, and I know that when everything's taken care of, but they still have a care call thing, it means that within 20 minutes, they are going to get sick. And I think it typically has to do with when this health index goes down below 50, because that's the one that you can't directly influence. The, the, these are, you know, the happiness, the food, and the discipline you can directly influence. But if those get too low, regardless of score, if those get too low, the health will drop, and it, it seems to be when it gets around 43 or so, and then they'll start calling out, and then soon they'll get sick, you fix that up, and then you just try to keep their, their health index above that number. So basically, if their happiness is low, but also their, their, uh, their discipline is low, you wouldn't go fix their discipline and be like, okay, it's fine, I'll just top up their happiness once it hits zero. You'd, you'd want to get the happiness up. You want to try to balance these numbers to keep them higher up, I think. Or at least until someone tells me otherwise, that's the way you take care of Giga Pets, Jurassic Park, Baby T-Rex, hard version. Let's go see what everyone's up to. Sneaks' scat man has now become very groovy. I like it. It's a good look. Also, it looks if you scream into their head, it might amplify out into space. Flipmonix says they're going to try to go top line with their devices, and I'm not familiar with this one. I know this this kind of white shell, but not the, the gray thing. This must be somewhat custom, right? Must be, yeah. I love Agumon, though. It's a good sprite. I suppose that means they're going to be going for Omegamon, yeah? I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I feel like I've been seeing more and more people be like, no more Omegamon. But I would implore you, 
to back off of Flipmon X, okay? Let them enjoy what they want to enjoy. They've also got Piamon over here, and then yeah, there's just a wonderful keyboard. And wait, is that is that Digimoji? No, that can't be Digimoji, I'm crazy. Oh, Dragonlord says, After the passing away of my cat, I've picked up the X3 again to see if I can uh, finish unlocking all of the mons. That's, first of all, sorry for your loss, Dragonlord. That's very sad. It's, oh, uh, that's, that's awful. I'm sorry. But I hope that the X3 and little Bulkamon here can help distract you in the meantime. Oh, here we go. Elise, she shared a pic of her Gigapets Jurassic Park baby T-Rex, and then she actually just got this one in, and she's running them both at the same time to see if they're different. And already here, look, look at the sleep screens. This is mine, right, with a sleep screen. And then this is the other one. Looks way more Tamagotchi-esque. So there are obviously differences. I'm curious to know how far the differences go, how split the teams were that developed these devices. What was their design philosophy here? What were they going for? I'm so curious. So it's like, if you have the, the rice ball is shaped one. You get the full experience. Is that is that what I'm understanding? Because if so, they kind of you know. I guess it's fine. Well, anyway, this T-Rex is my T-Rex. There are others like it, but this one is mine. In fact, I'm actually not convinced that there are others like this one. I'm not convinced that this isn't just a cursed one that uh, just needs to feed on pepperoni, which I'm going to find out later kind of like the woodsman and over the garden wall. I'm gonna find out that those pepperonis were actually formed of children or something, and I'm going to be held accountable. I'm going to be complicit. Are, th are there provisions for people who were complicit unknowingly? Or does that just kind of violate the, the definition of complicit? Because I don't, uh, if those, if the pepperonis are kids, I don't know, okay? I don't, I don't know. That, that's all for today, though. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Thanks, patrons, for supporting this channel, especially Shifter, Dog Trainer 89 and Kitsy Fluff, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Have a good one.